We just saw that with from view interface, we can include the header row. But with the other ways of exporting, the header row or headings were missing. First, I'm going to clean the export file and have the class implement form array interface because most of the time you will either be working with array of data or collections. Also, we need to revert the data to users data instead of the orders. And one more thing I would like to do is to hide all the timestamps in the model. So now in order to have headings row, we need to implement another interface called with headings. This interface has one method named headings, which we must define and it returns an array where each element of the array is a heading for each of the column in our Excel file. So let's define an array of headings and give it a shot in the browser. In case we need more than one heading row, we can also do that. For this, we will be returning arrays of array where each internal array would be representing each row. So now let's define two internal arrays, which will be, which means that we will be defining two rows of headings and then we will have our data. And you can see that it is working quite nicely. One more thing that I would like to share is that you might be wondering that we are defining static headings and what if we have multiple exports of same model and it has quite a lot of columns or attributes. This is not something that has to do anything with the package, but just an opinion on how you can reduce the duplication of code. So in that case, you can define a constant array in your model where you will map each attribute or database column with a more user friendly name. And then you can grab the keys of the data inside the export class and then return that custom field name. It is just an option on how you can do it, but I hope you get the idea on how you can map each database column with a better heading because we don't want to have column headings with underscore or special character like we do in our database. Talking about mapping, one problem that you might be thinking about is that right now we are just getting the data and then creating the headings based off how the data is exported and which column is first and which is last. Let's now have a look on how we can map columns the way we want which columns should be coming first and which should be last. 